is yeast. It is a microscopic fungus consisting of single oval cells that produce by budding and are capable of converting sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. They have been associated with raising, fermentation, carbonation, and transformation abilities. Examples are baking bread, making alcoholic drinks, and using yeast as a material and source of biofuel. They are commonly found on plant leaves, flowers, and fruits, as well as in soil. Yeast are also found on the surface of the skin and in the intestinal tracts of warm-blooded animals, where they may live symbiotically or as parasites. History of yeast Yeast came from Old English word for gist or gist, and from the Indo-European root word for yes which means foam, boil, or bubble. Ang clue word dito sa Old English word na yeast is magkarayim sila ng yeast. So parang yung kapag naano mo ka agad yung yeast came from Old English what? Parang ay gist to ganon. Gist yung sagot dito. At kapag naman Indo-European is a root word form yes, which means foam, boil, or bubble. So bakit nga ba naging meaning nito ay bubble. So, ang clue word dito, kung makikita nyo yung nasa introduction, yung picture dun sa introduction, parang yung microscope nila yung yeast is parang bula, parang may bilog-bilog, na parang may bubbles-bubbles, diba? So, parang magiging clue word mo lang na kapag yung Indo-European root na yes, anong meaning nung root word na yes na yun? So, bubble yon parang maaalala mo yung picture na kap, nung sa microorganic kapag may microscope yung yeast na yon Makikita nyo dun yung parang bula. So, parang ang clue word dun is bubble. So, yon Yeast microbes are probably one of the earliest domesticated organisms. Archaeologists digging in Egyptian ruins found early grinding stones and baking chambers for yeast raised bread. In 1960, yeast was first observed microscopically. And alam nyo ba na si Louis Pasteur ang nakadiscover ng yeast for bread? By the late 18th century, two yeast strains used in brewing had been identified. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the tough ferment yeast, and S. Carlbergensis, the bottom fermenting yeast. And you know that S. Carlbergensi is also known that Saccharomyces patroianus. Food preparation. Yeast is commonly used in baking bread and bakery products, serving as a leavening agent which causes the bread to rise by converting the fermentable sugar present in the dough into carbon dioxide and ethanol. Yeast also converts sugar into carbon dioxide and alcohol which is useful in food production. It explains in this slide that yeast is important in baking bread because it makes the bread lighter and softer. Can we use yeast? in food preservation? The answer is yes, because yeast promote fermentation in fruits by breaking down sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The amount of available water in a food product is also critical for the growth of fungi. Yeast are unable to grow at water activity at less than 0.9 and molds are unable to grow at a water activity below 0.8. It explains in this slide that yeast is a good product for preserving food because it prevents growth of molds.
This serves as the leavening agent, the one that makes the bread rise once it was baked at the oven. The yeast replaces the fermented sugar such as glucose, fructose, sucrose, and etc. It is going to be carbon dioxide that makes the baked goodies rise and much more better and edible. What is bread? Bread is a staple food prepared from a dough of flour and water, usually by baking. It is also the common use of yeast. There is evidence to the ancient Egyptians using yeast to make bread around 4,000 years ago. Yeast is used for the leavening of bread. Ang yeast ay gumagamit ng sugar at oxygen sa dough upang mag-produce ng mas madaming yeast cells at carbon dioxide gas. Ang carbon dioxide ang nagpapalaki sa dough upang mabigyan ang tinapay ng light and spongy texture. Yeast also works on the gluten network. The byproducts of fermentation or rising give bread its characteristic flavor and aroma. The gas that yeast produces is carbon dioxide. It is turned into food energy too. This is known as the fermentation. Yeast in fermentation product. The major products of yeast fermentation are alcoholic drinks and bread. With respect to fruits and vegetables, the most important products are fermented fruit juices and fermented plant saps. The process is well known being essentially an alcoholic fermentation of sugars to yield alcohol and carbon dioxide. Ethanol, also called as ethyl alcohol, grain alcohol, and drinking alcohol, and many more. It is used as a solvent or in the synthesis of other organic chemicals and as an additive to automotive gasolines forming mixture known as casohol. Other uses of yeast Alcoholic drinks Brewing wine and beer has required yeast for centuries to ferment the mixture and make it alcoholic. Different kinds of yeast are used to make ale, lager, spirits, and wine. It makes alcohol by reacting sugars that naturally occur in these drinks. So for the question number one, what is yeast? Number two, what are the examples of yeast production? Number three, what are the other uses of yeast? Number four, why yeast is used in baking bread? Number five, why yeast is used in alcohol drinks? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Augustine of Hippo, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. We hope that you have learned something new from us about yeast. <laughs>